He's going to have to have a big game again this afternoon to try and take on the likes of Phillips and Marinov. Hatchard is the quick kick inside 50. Falls into the arms of Madison Newman. Has kicked the one goal in her four games. Doesn't look overly comfortable, is he? But she'll load up, and she should have been because that's a beautiful kick. She's got the journey. She puts the one hand in the air, and the Crows have got two early. It'll get to Marinov once again, who will now send it deep. Who's there? Woodland. He's able to do well. Got a clever little handball to Jones. She's able to get it again on the second bite. It has a snap of goal. And already the Crows, it's looking ominous. Three goals, one. Wrapped up, though, and a chance now for the Giants. Allen's kick. Del Post lurking, so Schmidt. Staunton going to run down Whiteley from behind. Former teammate. It should be holding the ball. It is. We know she's got the wheels. If she gathers this one, oh, she couldn't quite. Well done there. Good bit of play from Todd to get across. Although it still might work in the Crows' favour. Ponta throws it on the boot around the body and it sneaks it home. She kicked her second, Ponta. And just like that, always happens, Izzy. The Giants do all the attacking and it goes down the other end. And they get the goal. So Foley again will send it inside 50 for the Crows. Phillips having a rest in the goal square. Ponta, we know she's so creative. Steps through two, gave a fend off and kicks her third. What a terrific goal, Danielle Ponta. The Giants again just sitting off their opponents. Woodland has time to pick it up, get the handball to Considine. We know she loves to take the game on. That was a strong tackle, although the last bit of it was dangerous. Yeah, that was certainly a free kick, and there's some concerns there for Considine. Obviously, coming in from behind, momentum going forward, your arms are pinned, and then she's just didn't let her go as, as the ball released, so she's just landed in her back and just hit her into the ground. And certainly, the tribunal have a look at that one. But Parker's in a bit of strife there. That's a terrific tackle, Justine Mills. Hatchard will get it to the top of the square. Who's sitting under the football? Woodland. Randall, who I think was back in the third quarter now in the forward line again in the fourth. Might actually get the free kick here. I think she will. Yeah, the versatility is just incredible. And she could play anywhere. I think I saw her in a ruck contest just before, but um, she'd be hoping she could slot this one through and get more of an impact on that scoreboard. As we said, she's been peppering for the first two rounds of the year. And she's got her first goal for season 2021. Chelsea Randall, what a star. Evans. Oh, Jones with a big fly at the back. And, geez, she's needed. Parker right in the kidney. That's going to hurt. We'll see her come up. Brilliant sit, though. Well, it's had me sit, run and jump. Nicola Barr ran herself into trouble. Stevie Lee Thompson did well. That's a couple of smothers for her. And just goes very, very short to Anne Hatchard. They give themselves so much space and time that they can actually go through those motions. Hatchard, another one that's not usually a big goal kicker, but she struck that one beautifully. She's got the journey, and Anne Hatchard caps off what's been a wonderful afternoon. Although they have been very good as usual. Mary's Hatchard. Mules. She's been clever as well this afternoon. Steps around one. Goes to the top of the square and Erin Phillips. She only needs a metre. She had a couple more than that there and she should go back and slot her first goal for the day. So Erin Phillips will go straight back over the goal on Pye's head. She makes no mistake. And that's four goals in this last quarter for the Crows. If you're a person in this team, a player in this team, you are doing everything you can to the final siren to demonstrate that you've got to keep your spot. So um, you don't want to you don't want to give it up this this year because they're travelling really well. As we see, a terrific mark there by Parker. Will she get the 50 metres? Yep, she will. Yeah, I think we can pretty safely pencil her in from here. Although I have had some mishaps. <laughs> so. uh, not for Parker. She's got her first ever AFLW goal. Adelaide have been dominant from start to finish. They kicked the first three goals of the game. And they finished with four in the last quarter. And they've flexed their muscles, the Crows. They win this one by 47 points.